Hello, good afternoon to you, to our viewers across the country and beyond. Welcome to the grand finale of the Women's FA Cup. Once again, it's another final that involves the two finalists of the Women's Premier League. And it's between Hazakas ladies who will be facing it off once again against Ampem Dakwan ladies. I am Esther Abankwa. I will be your commentator for the day. I'm here together with... I share to Zachary Ali. Esther is good to hear. Another final involving the two teams that we have covered last week, Saturday. The interesting part is that today is no raining. So let's see what will happen. There were two teams involved. Hazakes ladies as well as Ampem Dakwa ladies. Ampem Dakwa ladies in your shorts. Nana Adakwa who had his tactics wrong last weekend and will be hoping to get his tactics right this time around for this grand finale of the Women's FA Cup. And Aisha, last weekend we had an avalanche of goals. Do you think we are going to have a similar thing this weekend as well? As I slight doubt, because after the game I spoke to uh, Coach John and he mentioned that his players let him down because of the fact that if you look at the goals they conceded, it was through set pieces. So he said they are going to work on this. But who wants hope with the bragging right as the side that is indeed the stronger one so far as women football is concerned and the referee has whistled for everything to begin here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Who goes home with the trophy? It's the Women's FA Cup and if, in case you just tuned in, you are watching the grand finale of the Women's FA Cup. Grace Bama will be in post for them, Queen Bell, as well as Janet Tejiri and Regina. And I expected to marshal the defense of Hazakes ladies. It's an advantage in favor of Ampem Dakwa ladies, but they couldn't uh, utilize it. Once again, it's a set piece that Hazakes ladies are trying to ensure that they mount an attack on the defense of Ampim Dakwa ladies. Hazakes ladies who's also trying to make sure that the ball doesn't pass by them. It has been great so far, and um, my only disappointment will be with Hazakes ladies. Set places like this, good advantage like this, then you have somebody, you need somebody who is fast. Every girl will always seem to relate to the party. And uh, it was no other person than Doris Bweduwal who drew in when was trying to locate Veronica Apia. But however, Hazakes ladies managed, and Pemdakwa ladies managed to clear it off from their defense. Doreen Copson had taken in the ball, but the referee has whistled for an advantage in favor of Ampem Dakwa ladies. It's a ding dong affair in the heart of Midfield. Sonia Opoku tries to get the ball, but she's now down. It's a counter attack on the other side for Hazakas ladies who managed to find the back of the net. And it is no other person than Doris Bwedua. Not the women's woman. This is a wonderful. Listen, the goalkeeper was out because the defenders were actually running to Doris Bwedua. Nobody was going to attack it. The point was that Doris Bwedua, you could see she was going to score. Hazakas ladies. Sonia Opoku with the ball there, and she, eh, she has managed to skip. The attack of Azuma Bugri releases the ball and she Mavis Obusu tried to go for the goal. And Pemdakwa ladies are still probing, trying to get the equalizer in the first half, but it has been cleared off. Well, and Okay, so the coach is actually complaining about this attack from Regina, no, from uh, Aguguri to on, on, on his uh, striker. He seems not to be happy with the referee decision. Then. But then, who said from uh, Grace Bamba? Comfort Usua, who was trying to mount that attack. The ball is now in the heart of midfield. Janet Ejiri there with the ball. And from the qualities are trying to get the Get there on time to actually just step in and then push a little bit, push would have scored. And then, I mean, would have been a one one. The black princesses they play together, so they know each other. So it's not surprising that whenever you see a foul against Evelyn Baby, it's Peterson an advantage. Well, 
It's an advantage. Will they be able to get a second goal and she does? What a goal! What a goal! My Lord Opokua. My Lord Opokua, her second goal in the women's FA Cup so far. Second goal for her, second goal for Hazakes ladies today. Excellent. I, I like the level of her confidence. She was so confident enough to know that she could have bypassed the defender, would bypass the goalkeeper, and score. And finally, the referee has whistled. And it's the grand finale of the women's FA Cup. You're watching it live on Max TV Ghana. It's Hazakes ladies who are leading by two goals to zero. It's a live coverage coming to you from the screens of Max TV Ghana. They have made it possible. The first half ended with a two goal advantage in favor of Hazakes ladies. And Pemdakwan ladies have begun the second half with a certain turns of energy trying to make amends for the two goals that they considered in the first half. The grand finale of the Women's FA Cup live on Max TV Ghana and Pim Dakwa ladies keep making changes to ensure that they get good results. It was a very good effort over there. of the game would they be able to get a consolation and the referee whistles for an offside it's been a pulsating second half however the referee has whistled and it ends here at the Accra Sports Stadium Coach Yusif Bazigi once again proves to everybody that he is a coach that really knows what he's up to.